Hey, what's going on? Let's take a look at this 1966 Rambler. It's a authentic vintage scale model promotional car from 1966 and we have the uh, we have the original packaging with it. So, let's start with that. Let's take a look at the box. Let's move our guy in our car back and let's start right up. So, First of all, you'll see that the that cellophane in there, that is the original cellophane that was stuck to the inside of the front of this box. But it no longer is. Now it's stuck to the back portion of the inside of the box. And I think mostly it's stuck there by uh, static electricity. It's just kind of stuck there. Anyway, uh, so yeah. But you can see the box has got some water damage. And uh, it's a little beat up. And uh, boy, I mean, if the car was inside here during all of this damage, it did a really good job of, of staying in good shape. Because there doesn't look to... We'll, we'll look, take a look at the car closely, but I mean, it's in great condition. So let's take a look at this box that we would have received if we had uh, picked this up at the American Motors dealership. 1966 scale model car from American Motors. Exact 124 scale plastic model. And that's great because uh, that's my preferred scale. Sometimes these models come in 125th, which is a, a teensy bit smaller, but 124th is great by me. American Motors. Ambassador Marlin, the Rambler Classic, and the Rambler American. I think we have a Rambler Classic is what we're is the car that we have. Fully detailed, authentic colors, motorized. Oh, it's got a friction motor inside of it. So this will be an opportunity for us to take a look for the first time at one of the friction motors. Only American Motors has all of these extra value features at no extra cost. I guess if uh, you're interested in, in all of these features, you could pause right here and take a look at them. I'm not going to read through every one, though. Every side of this box is utilized, isn't it? This is nice. See, all four series where quality is built in, not added on. Three sixes, three V8s, and six great engines for 66. 26 models to choose from. For 1966. All right, we're almost done. One thing that you'll notice is that we haven't come across a price on this box, have we? Oh, here we go. Here's our identification end. We can see that they have staped, uh, stamped, excuse me, stamped the date 1966 in red ink, and then also they have stamped, printed on here is the Rambler Classic 770 wagon in Antigua red and frost white and there's a two i think that probably means it's two-tone color which is the car that we are going to look at we've got the classic 770 wagon in red and frost white so as i was saying this end is blank there's no price tag on here or a spot for a price and that's because this was promotional this was not sold to the public this car this car was given away to people to as a marketing device to try and sell cars. Ah, this is a beautiful car, isn't it? Let's put him back there. I love this car. This was a really popular car, the Rambler, the wagon. You would see these everywhere. There's our standard 1966 date stamped right there on our license plate, which is pretty standard for the make or for the era of these cars. Uh, yeah, this is a great vehicle that you saw everywhere. It reminds me of road trips with my family, falling asleep in this back seat or in the very back. No seat belts, 1966 style. This is a beautiful car. Are we missing the brake lights? I think we are. Oh no, they're there. Wow, they're just kind of, they're really flush. See them? For a second, I thought that this car was missing those brake lights. And I was like, oh shit, I never noticed that before. 
No, they're there. They're just uh, they're, it's a it's a clear red flush piece. Wow, this is shiny and beautiful, isn't it? Those seats in there. So, uh, yeah, sales device. This car. It's really meant for sitting on the sales department's desk. It's meant for for sitting on the desk of the salesman. Take a look at the bottom. Here's that friction mo that friction engine or friction motor that I have talked about before that we have noticed in the bottom of some of our cars that that there were remnants of the friction motor, but this particular one it has it. Let's see how it works. It also has a lot of that writing on the bottom that we've also looked at on other cars. Uh, that's here to assist uh, the people that work at the dealership to remember all of the options, but it's also there for the, uh, as sales tools to, for, uh, the customer when they would give this to the customer to take home. Deep dip rust proofing, ceramic armored. I really like it when they, when they print it directly on the part, like right on that muffler, it says ceramic armored. So, uh, like we've seen in other cars, the axles, hubs, and wheels to these cars are very important because the purpose of this car is that it's going to sit on a desk and it's going to assist a salesman in making a sale. All right, so let's see if we can get the... You can see how the friction motor works. Now, it doesn't work all that well on this slick tabletop. Um, I think it, you know, it's kind of... Maybe, maybe you could put it on something a little bit better, like paper, and it might go better. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so you see how it works. All right, so 1966, uh, this car is molded in the plastic, in the color, which was what they were doing at that time, and it's really, really cool. The, all this plastic is Antigua red, or frost white and that's it there's no paint on this vehicle uh, one thing that's interesting is that you will notice and it's and you have to really pay close attention to notice it but this car has started to warp a little bit and you'll see here on the bottom that this portion protrudes and this one is flush this is protruding because the vehicle is beginning to warp I've looked into it and I uh, partially disassembled this and it's just the way it is. Up on the top here, you see the racks are starting to bend a little bit. Now I've seen other copies or, or of models of this, of this car um, in different colors that have already kind of done that, the warping, the smile where the, uh, the plastic warps away sometimes or or into the chrome in the front grille or in the rear bumper. But it's done none of that in our model. Just that little bit on the chassis as we've noted on the very bottom and the tiny bit on the roof racks right here. Otherwise, this car looks as it as it does, as it, I imagine as it did when it came directly out of that, that water damaged box we looked at. I mean, it is really sharp. I don't see any discoloration from damage or or display in the past there's a little bit of rubbing on the top you saw there but otherwise this thing is beautiful i love this car um look at all of this window space that that that, that the design gave to the to the to this rear to the back portion if you're a little kid back here if you're a kid back here man you're looking at the world as it's passing by in the 60s and the 70s this is a really cool really really cool design so yeah the 1966 rambler classic amc rambler love this car hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will talk to you next time